Even though both the Sunda and the Chinese pangolin are listed as critically endangered, inadequate law enforcement means pangolins confiscated by the Forest Protection Department are often sold back into the wildlife trade, never making it back to the forests of Vietnam. Save Vietnam Wildlife is a non-profit organization here in Vietnam. We are very proud of the fact we were the first organization in Vietnam to begin fighting to save the pangolin, which started in 2006. And we are here still fighting today. In the last eight years, Save Vietnam's wildlife has been successful in rescuing, rehabilitating and releasing pangolins one of the most difficult species to manage in captivity. Sadly, not all the pangolins make it back to their forests. One female pangolin was rescued with a laceration to her neck, her tongue partially severed. Even though her tongue protruded from a hole in her neck, she continued to try and eat and drink. That night, she gave birth to a baby which passed away, and that next day, we gently euthanized the mother pangolin. Rescuing pangolins is only part of what Save Vietnam's wildlife does. We collaborate with government authorities to improve law enforcement. We are coming here today to discuss about the pangolin action plan for today. We will conduct research to understand the characteristics of pangolin consumers. We carry out field research to improve the understanding of wild populations. And we have trained over a thousand government officials and students across Vietnam. So on this World Pangolin Day, 2015, pledge to roll up for the pangolin. The pangolins need your help. Find out what you can do to help Save Vietnam's Wildlife help pangolin at savevietnamswildlife.org.